didn't get to um, hear Underdog Lady, but uh, JD pulled a bunch of clips so we could hear some of it. And I, I can't imagine. Go ahead. No, I got a lot of email about her, and it was mixed. It was like some people love her and some people just hate her, you know? I think I heard when this kid called in, you, you were asking about... Uh, he had a good question, actually, Egg and Aram. What was your question about asking about how Howard is going I to... answered a few questions. She let me just ask question after question, so I just took advantage of that. <laughs> it was like, uh, oh, I asked her if she thought that maybe uh, the way that you treat people, the way that she views you treating people is is uh, is is due to the fact that you were bullied so much in, in high school, and this is maybe your form of retribution to make that sort of even, you know? And she... Uh, and I asked her about Catholic priests and what, what sort of wrath they're going to face for all the bullying they do, you know, for the molestation and whatnot. But yeah, she gets into every answer she gives is intense. You got his call? Yeah, I got, I got, Wait a second, what? It's in the, it's on the underdog page. Okay. Uh, second column. It's the first one in orange. All right, Mike. I'm going to listen to your work. <laughs> all right, Howard. Thank you. Later. Another question: Do you do you believe that Howard is going to face the wrath for the way he treats you sometimes? Because he's very condescending of your of your dances and your parades. <laughs> well, he he took advantage of my not knowing anything about him and and treated me shamefully. So I'm afraid that he will have a very stiff penalty to pay uh, if he hasn't atoned enough already. He definitely has more penalties to pay in the future. Now, one, one more question. Do you think that, I don't know if you're familiar with the way he was treated in high school, but he was uh, one of the only, one of or the only white student in an all-black school, and he was bullied daily. Do you think that the way he acts now is sort of retribution to him for the way he was treated? It makes him more powerful to be the one doling out the bullying than to be the one accepting the bullying? There really is no comparison between um being mistreated at school and deliberate, willful um, t sexual explicitness. Well, even if you took out the sexuality, he uh, he uh, he likes to run people through their paces and and really really question where people come from and and what they're about and and uh, you know he takes good people like yourself, like Kathy Lee, like Oprah, and he really makes you out to be like your villains almost. Um, it's it's shameful that um, that this guy's good. That he chose to take uh, an unsuspecting innocent and uh, and and expose me, uh, you know, in an unholy manner or rather uh, an impure manner. Um, in in just a couple of minutes, we'll have a commercial break. Um, <laughs> Can't wait. Have, have I made myself? Uh, I hope I made myself clear on. Uh, where the connection is between present-day atrocities and uh, uh, atrocities committed directly against Christ. Wow. Sounds like a pretty intense show. No laughs there. I can't believe that she uh, she has time while she's, you know, not eating. To, I mean, she had... I, I, all I think about now is all the food that must be surrounding her. Hey, uh, where, where, who knows? Does Jim know or... <laughs> Who knows like what happened with all that food we ordered for? Yeah, her. did she get her Easter basket? Yeah. I'm, I'm, and I'm did more she interested in that. Right into it? Yeah, I'm more interested in the report after the show. Yeah, I just picture her sitting in the middle of a studio surrounded by food. It was the, I mean, the amount of food she ordered is in, like almost a joke. And she's the only one who comes, right? She doesn't have an entourage. <laughs> Gary's Jim here. Oh, here's Tim. Uh, not yet. All right. So what happened? So what what were her demands for food again? Well, first of all, she won, when she walked in, she has to have Hawaiian punch. She has to have orange juice. She has to have uh, a soda. And then Jim McClure went out and got her uh, some cupcakes, chocolate cupcakes. Tasty Jeez. cakes. Well, not, we didn't have tasty cakes, so we had to get her Enemans. Right. And then uh, so we got her the Enemans cupcakes. Uh, <laughs> and then she liked them so much, so she requested another batch of cupcakes. So she but, like, went and ate, she ate but, the cupcakes. Absolutely. But when is she yeah. eating this? Like during the commercials? Before the show, because we had her here in the green room, which she was right. appalled at because of the fact that it had Howard Stern posters up all around. <laughs> does and, she know that? Does she put together? 
together that these the, because of me she has the yes. show? Yes. Oh, she knows that. Yeah, yes. Okay. Yeah. So Well, are we supposed hmm. to take the posters down when she comes? Oh, she's she's so I mean so deliberate and so like just really you But know, I'm bringing her into my house in, in a sense. So of course there's going to be Howard Stern stuff here. Right. So it, it so yeah. now she requests that she wants a steak sandwich, but she wants it wrapped cut in half and wrapped separately so she can have some after she gets off the air and then some in the car on the way home. <laughs> wow. So she's eating constantly. Did Jim go out and get the sandwich for her during the show? Uh, right after the show, we had it timed perfectly so when she was off at eight o'clock that uh, she you handed have... her the sandwich. Correct. And did she eat half of it here? Correct. And then the other half in the car on the Who way home. Who sat with her while she ate the half the sandwich here? Jim McClure. He did. Yes. He's, he's a probably saint. got more stories. He's a, and she she smelled the high heaven. She what that do you entire. Mean? She had an odor about her. Well, because she's eating a steak. It's probably the steak that reeks. Well, it was before that. Okay. Oh. Well, right. it's probably from the cupcakes. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, wait so. a minute. So she ate before the show. Does she eat anything during the show? No. No. Oh, she's totally. professional. She's she, a professional. Well, she has very, she's very professional. She has her notes all laid out. She's very well rehearsed. Uh, she knows exactly how she's going to get in and get out of the show. She, right. You know, she's so very, she very thought deliberate. into it. Absolutely. Describe right. yeah. the smell. And the, and the, and the uh, steak. Steak sandwich. So half of that was consumed afterwards. So how long did she hang around here? Uh, I, I believe, I, I don't know. I left after that, but she was here for probably about 10, 15 minutes, maybe. Oh. And then she eats the rest in the car. Correct, correct. Eats but, fast? Uh, uh, no, very, you know, bite at a time, you know, chews her food all the really? way, you know, very, you know, but. Uh... Well, that's good, that's healthy. <laughs> When they're talking but, to her off the air, does she ever laugh or have fun? Or no, never? no, there's no, no fun in that woman's life. Never the, the greatest thing was during the show, people kept asking her, are you Catholic? And then she'd avoid the, the question. Why? I don't know. Well, she brought up how the different religions, I guess, but everybody kind of caught on to it. And uh, they kept bringing it up. Are you Catholic? And she would just totally avoid the question. Wow. When she, would, I, I think because she had problems at her church or something where they I don't know. didn't like her doing a show. And she has a beautiful voice if you see at the end of the show when she sang that song. It was really? magnificent. Magnificent. Does she so, do a monologue at the beginning uh, yes. explaining yes. what she's going to be yes. talking about? Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Love that. You want to hear the monologue? Yes. yes. All right. <laughs> okay. Here it is. Unfortunately, today there are still too many people beginning, sadly enough, with very young children and continuing throughout life, who mistreat other people. <laughs> In school, it's most likely by name-calling, malicious gossip or teasing, prank-pulling, provoking fights or quarrels, scolding and criticizing, general discourtesy, theft or damage of belongings, or even physical assault. i got to say, as a broadcaster, she doesn't fumf her around a lot. No. no. She's she, pretty good. She's very deliberate. She reminds yeah. me of Kathy Bates in that movie, Misery. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm thinking of doing a remake where Artie's in the bed and, and underdog lady's underdog beating his feet. Right. Has his hammer. <laughs> and, <he's> sitting, <laughs> and she sits in the, in the green room and does Anybody. her needlepoint. And she does needlepoint? Needle right, right. Good for her. She needle point, yeah. She's a sweet girl. Yeah, she very really sweet. is. Very, very nice lady. But usually mm. needlepoint has some kind of little saying. I wonder what she's writing, what she's needlepointing. Uh, don't let this little shit bring you down. Is what she was <laughs> needlepointing last night. Don't sweat this moth up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who mistreats somebody with the express purpose of making that other, that other person suffer and derives pleasure from making that other person suffer is just as mean and cruel as the, as the maltreaters of Christ. Present-day maltreaters refuse to see the connection between their atrocities and the atrocities committed against Christ. That's her opening. Her atrocities and atrocities. That's right. interesting. You say atrocities. I say <laughs> atrocities. She's atrocities. Both. Atrocities. <laughs> Let's call the whole thing off. Uh, yeah, she sang at the end of the show. All right. I'd like to uh, finish our, our program with a traditional, um, well, kind of negative song, because after all, we are focusing on uh, Christ's ordeals and, uh, and, and death. Uh, I'd like, if any of you... Uh, if any of you are familiar with uh, a spiritual called Were You There? That's uh, 
that, that's what I that's what I'd like to sing now. Do you think a lot of people were listening to this? <laughs> I have jumping no, off buildings. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea. Like, did five people listen, or did five thousand, or ten? I mean, who knows? I'll find out to, uh, yeah. in the next couple. I didn't realize right. how uh, how religious oriented wow. her show was going to be. Oh, yeah. She, oh yes. I might have put her on the Catholic Channel. Yeah. She reminds me of my principal when I was a kid in school. Yeah. yeah. She reminds me of that Mother Angelica that used to have a TV show. Yes, yeah. she could be Mother Angelica. She reminds yeah, I mean, me of uh, the crazy lady on my street who never showered. <laughs> <laughs> She's still with us? <laughs> no. So, uh, uh, if any of you uh, feel like singing with me at home, then uh, then go ahead. Uh, music, please. Wow. Good Lord, we're in church. <laughs> She's not fucking around. And isn't that fun? <laughs> but can you can you rewind it, please? Oh, oh man, <laughs> he missed her her intro. When they crucified my Lord. Hold on with the glass. <laughs> She's got a pleasant voice. Were you there when they crucified? My Lord. Wow. Heavy. I like it. <laughs> she could be on American Idol. There's more cracked windshields across America. I don't know. I don't think she's got that bad a voice. Oh, she's got a great voice. What do you think, Robin? It's not a bad voice. Right? She's on key. It's very church-like, it is. You know, dog, you, were, you did your thing and you did it. Uh, utter atro atro atrocity. <laughs> were you there when the... the song gets darker, right? That's what she was saying. It's heavy. A very dark heavy. song. Well, I guess they Easter. get into the whole thing of what happened. It's for Easter. Oh, God. They had a two-hour special on crucifixion last night on the History Channel. Really? <laughs> Just what happens to the body when you're crucified. Oof. <laughs> Can't be fun. <laughs> the tree. <laughs> Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? <laughs> Holy mackerel. I, I was there, but I, I didn't know what to do. I, <laughs> what a party. Yeah, we had fun. We had a wine punch and tasty yeah, we, cake. we brought a picnic basket. <laughs> <laughs> I was there. I was like thinking, gee, I'm glad it ain't me up there on that tree. It reminds me of being in, in church. Like all the answers are like, should I have done something? <laughs> Were you there when his blood dripped out slowly? Were you there as the guards whipped the flesh from his back? <laughs> I almost went back to meat after that. Yeah. <laughs> you gave up your, your detox. <laughs> You ripped a steak sandwich out of her hand. Yeah. <laughs> Let me have some of that. You're a hungry wolf. <laughs> Give me some of that. <laughs> some of that entomans. Did you offer any of your broccoli? No. No. I don't think Susan has seen a vegetable. <laughs> Were you there I got a feeling more people were there than we're, than we're listening to this. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that was a hit. They yeah. had high ratings. <laughs> I, pers I personally wasn't there. <laughs> this is a very dark song. <laughs> this is church, man. It makes you feel so awful about it. <laughs> For you. Mammy. Tremble. Well, they give you a little flavor. Oh, this, I uh, love this song. I don't know why you <laughs> cut it off. <laughs> I'm, I'm living every second. Marianne from Brooklyn, yes. Oh, I took your direction and I called her, but I was the first call, and after I heard her whole spiel about how she was bullied, I felt so guilty. I kind of felt sorry for her. Well, you should. She's, she's a very nice, she's a very woman. nice woman. She's talking about herself. She was bullied. She yes. was bullied, of course. And still is. It's terrible. I just couldn't feed into joking on her. And she, I listened to the whole show, and I have to. Well, I didn't want you to joke on her. I want you to call up and ask her questions about me so you get her talking about something yeah. funny. I didn't even do 
that. I was afraid if I asked her a question about you, she might freak out on me, and I didn't yeah. want to do that. So yeah, I, well, you got to be gentle with uh, with I did, uh, I Suzanne. I said, is your name Susan? She goes, no, my name is Suzanne. I it said, is. Okay, so like I sort of felt I had to back off. I, but I liked her. I thought she was good. Even though, Howard, you know I want my ass in that chair, I thought she was awesome. And she said, another chance because she was an underdog all her life. Oh, trouble. <laughs> Just with this song you alone, she gets another show. Oh, right. <laughs> what about a Susan Muldowney underdog lady musical Sing hour? Like, Sing along. Like her and other guests. I'd like to I add think. one final statement. When we oh. ask in that song, were you there, and it causes me to tremble. Yes, we were all there because we put Christ up to it with our wrongdoings. So it causes me to tremble. That uh, that should mean that, that we get a twinge of conscience. Boy, she should have been a nun. She is yeah. Mother Teresa. How did she miss or being a nun? Or Mother Angelica. Maybe they thought she wasn't, you know, all there. Uh, yeah, right. I think she missed... You know, she must have failed the test or something. Yeah, well, you yeah. can't have tasty cake in the convent. Right. <laughs> but a music special where she has guests, she sings, yeah, like and Sonny she and has Cher. guests who come in and sing with her. Yeah, like special guest Chris Cornell. Yeah, yeah. They Eddie Vedder. do songs together. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen. And make the songs about other things, like, were you there when Tim D talked? <laughs> So you, right. said, so you were part of the whole team that greeted her and yeah, right. worked with her. The like, welcoming committee. And she, yeah. she likes you? Uh, she, absolutely. She I wanted, heard she has a crush on you. Well, she wanted to uh, have me march in a parade with her in Jersey someplace, and she <laughs> wanted to make so her. So do it. She, uh... <laughs> Why won't yeah. you do it? Are you kidding me? I'll be great. <laughs> oh, we'll yeah, it would be great, yeah. Just how I want to spend my weekend. Her? Yeah, right. When is it going to be? This weekend? Uh, yeah, this weekend at oh, 4 o'clock. Go. Yeah, she and I together. No. Are you kidding me? No. No, she wanted to make me a costume. She wants to be... Oh, uh, we're doing oh, this. Yeah. What's the costume? Oh, I don't know. What is the costume? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I what? Don't know. Jim just I am to me. He said that, um, first of all, that when he gave her the Easter basket, she almost shrieked. Um, then he gave her a milkshake for the ride home as well. And she said, you really rolled out the red carpet. But her next project is she wants to do a show on the Catholic Channel about how Santa's too involved in Christmas. Well, they're not going to let her on the Catholic Channel. This, this is the is channel. This is her channel. This is her Catholic Channel. Yeah. yeah. It's the Catholic Hour so on the Howard Stern. Why doesn't Jim call us? Because Network. he seems to have a lot of information. <laughs> I, I told him to call. All right, I get it. Yeah. But what is she, what, you know, you didn't investigate what kind of costume. What is she going to be? She is, uh, what is Dracula. she? Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was going to be a princess, I guess, or and she wanted me to be her prince. Oh. That's what it was. Oh, How about boy. that, huh? Well, Come nice. on. Yeah, Damn, exactly. Gotta you got to do it. Something we in like a, a 38, 48 long something. <laughs> you got to do it. Call her today and say you've agreed. Oh, God, and you no. thing, you'll get a nice costume. Where's a gun? <laughs> Tim, Tim. What? You need to do this. Oh, no. I'm going to stand on. in. I'm going to no, stand no, no, in. No. You no, need I, to go. I can't. So you know she has a little crush on you. Oh, she is so hot. You're her friend. <laughs> so, so, come on. You get the costume. Yeah. we got to see what this is. <laughs> She's She's so it. It's going to be great. We'll video it for Howard TV. Yeah. We'll oh, it'll be so great. We'll Howard 100. Yes. What, what can I go? No. <laughs> Please. I'm, I'm begging you personally. <laughs> Oh, for the love we of all God. We all make sacrifices. We all make sacrifices. won't do anything. All right, I'll look into it. Come on, man. Look at the shit I got to go through today for Scott Greenstein. <laughs> which what is are causing you doing? Me. Scott. I'll do it. Okay. I'll do okay. it. Okay. <laughs> do it? No. I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. I'll look into Say it. what you were saying. Will you do it or not? I'll look into it. You will? Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'll because we got to get you fitted for a costume. Because otherwise I'll pull rank. Uh, you know what I'll do? I'll go behind your back and tell Mel you won't do it. <laughs> like what Scott did to me. Uh-oh. No, no, that's not how it went. That's what? <laughs> that's, that's, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Were you there with Tim dressed like a prince? <laughs> Did you throw up like the rest of us? Sometimes I tremble, tremble when I see Tim as my prince. I got a show. <laughs> yeah, well, well, you should, should do that. Robin will appear on uh, the musical special. We'll do the. Uh... I would too, but I know she won't even let me near the studio. <laughs> Suzanne Muldowney. Either. Would you ask sing along on if, ice? Would you ask Suzanne? I'm being serious. I want you to put this together with Jim. <laughs> Ask Suzanne if she would do an hour musical comedy okay, special where she's the host, 
We'll get different musical guests to sing with her. Robin is even offered to sing a song or yeah, two. Yeah, whatever okay. she would like. Yeah. Okay. And like her choice. <laughs> we get a live band in there, and this is going to cost an extra milkshake for her. I don't care. <laughs> And also, like, maybe we can even do a religious play or something fun yeah, where, passion play. where okay. the various guests can have roles. And, and she gets whipped. A oh, musical, how great would that be? Musical. Would you guys write a script? Well, yeah, but it, she could approve it, you know. I okay. mean, would it be anything wrong? Maybe she has some ideas of her own. You never know what's in that house. Okay. You know, be like, hi, this is Suzanne Maldani, underdog. And, you know, I'm here with my underdog family hour. Where we have music Maybe and fun. Maybe it'll be a Christmas special. We have to do a Christmas special, too. Well, we've got her now comfortable coming up here now. Good. Where she trusts us. Well, I'm she, saying, you know, yeah. We so make it comfortable for her. We yeah. make it nice. Well, we she can, her, and we'll, you know. we'll run the guest by her, and she can do okay. songs, and she All can right. pick the music. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That'll be super. But you are going to the parade this Saturday. Fred it's has, not this Saturday. It's, when is it? It's uh, there's she does them at random. She applies to be in these parades, and uh, she has to f submit a form. And I she thought it was this weekend. No, 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 no. Oh. She, this was there's there they come up ever so often. She and you'll be, and you get a prince place. costume, and prince she'll costume. be the princess, right. and then you'll right. dance with her. Oh, oh that's can fantastic. you imagine how hot this will be? All right, go ahead. How, how much am I looking You're doing for? it. It's oh not a question God. of thinking about it. Oh, I hope you have to rehearse like dancing with i got to get star. back to work, by the way. A glass of doble with Tim and Suzanne. Thanks for ruining my life. <laughs> hey, Jim. Hey, Howard. The, um, the time Tim was talking about when she wanted to measure him for the costume might have been the most awkward discussion ever. That was on the air? No, we oh, were, it was off. But off the air, she's asking him about, and she's sizing him up, and she's like, "You know, I'll need to measure you. Are you married?" And he's wow. like, "Yes, I am." And she's like, "Oh, well, then your wife will need to be there. It'll be inappropriate for me to measure you without your wife in the oh, room with us." She was having thoughts about Tim. Yeah, she's a yeah, she's a great. mover. And that song has 14 vo verses, I believe, one for each station of the cross or something. <laughs> Did you have to cut it down? I had to cut it down for. Her. That was the third version. She was singing in the uh, in the green room beforehand, trying to get the right key. Right. And the interns are walking by, just sitting, like, peeking in, looking like, what the hell is going on in there? It's so great. There so she, was no camera for her setup? She, uh, we tried to, we talked to Tim and I both talked to her about four, four or five times. Somebody hipped her to Howard TV, and she's like, would this be for Howard On Demand? And I was like, uh, yeah, she would be. She's like, I will not be videotaped Aww. ever. Ah, oh, too bad. I would have liked to have seen the making yeah. of the show. But yeah. so, so what happened with uh, the when you gave her the Easter basket? She um, afterwards we're leaving. She's like, "Oh, do you have Easter candy for me?" I mean, it was just this sweet, innocent, smiling look. It, was, it felt so weird. So I bring her over this candy, and she almost like jumped in her feet a little bit. Like, <laughs> "Oh my God, thank you so! Much. Look at all this! What a bounty of chocolates!" Wow. So, so she, so you made up a whole basket. I, did, I got two big bags of candy. She likes Three Musketeers and Twix. So I just I brought her over. I went down to Dwayne Reed and just brought her up all this chocolate and the smile on her face. She really looked like a five year old. Aww. <laughs> and so it was like a Halloween for her in a way. Almost, yeah. Now yeah, trick or treat. So uh, we brought her downstairs, and I had somebody go pick up a, a cold milkshake for her after her steak sandwich. Wow. So she had a milkshake for the ride too. So. So Which is came... always great because she can never make the whole trip home, so the guy driving her has to stop at a rest stop with her. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. So she came She came up, and she immediately tackled the Hawaiian punch and tasty cakes. She, yeah, as soon as she sat down, there was a Hawaiian punch there, and she that, that was the first thing. Then the orange juice. And then when and you couldn't get, you got, had to go out and get the Entenmann's. Mm. Oh, yeah, I brought her the tasty cakes, so I had to explain to her that there were no tasty cakes. And, you know, so she ate those, and... Those were her second favorites, the Tasty Cakes. And she asked if I happened to have another one for the ride home. So she liked it. So she loved those, yeah. And then during the really? show, all she wanted was lemonade because she thought that might help her voice. I was trying to give her a cup of tea. I was like, you know, maybe some hot tea or some hot water. And no, no, just cold lemonade is all I need. Wow. And then so she... Everything is sugar. Right. So she's, she's... I was going to say, has she ever heard of water? Water? She's Great. eating... So, so then, water and sugar. So then she would not drink water. The, I offered her water constantly. I thought, you know, you've been here for five hours. You want a glass of water or anything? No, everything had to be a flavored sugar drink. So did it go down the uh, sort of way that, like, she just was here for for a while. You fed her, then she didn't eat during the show, and then you had to have the steak sandwich ready when she came out. 
Exactly. The steak sandwich with no garnish wrapped in separate halves. And it, it wasn't needlepoint she was doing. She was stitching an outfit for the Mummers Parade, which oh. is the uh, the big New Year's parade they do in Philadelphia. All right. That's the one she wants Tim at? Uh, no, she wants, she, I think the, there might be some Easter parades coming up. I'll give her a call, but I know she's got a whole list of summer parades. What is you she can... being for the Mummers? I, I couldn't figure it out. The Mummers do all kind of different there's different groups that march. It's not individual, so I'm not sure what she's doing for that. So what's the deal on Tim? Uh, I, I'm. You can tell her today from me. No, not from me. Don't even mention me. You can tell her Tim's in. I'll, I will. I'll find out the next uh, the next uh, parade. <laughs> All right. Tim is doing it. <laughs> we'll all march together. It'll be great. All right. Cool. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Later. See ya. Yeah. Wow. See, we can't even get close to Suzanne. He gets to get close. Anybody using Desitin? Desitin? Not Desitin. No, I'm sorry. Do you smell that? Yeah, what is that? It's Neosporin. Yeah, what are you doing? I knew I was close. The nose knows. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is going on over there? No, I have uh, this insane dry skin. My knuckles are cracking from the weather, so I put some Neosporin on That's the worst stuff to put on it. Neosporin and A and D ointment. The, the, A and D is okay. The, the, the woman at the drugstore said put Neosporin and then A and D ointment. On. Yeah, the A and D is good too. Yeah, I guess maybe maybe she knows something, but yeah, because I showed it to her. Is it yeah. too much? For I you? smell. I, no, it's okay. I, I smell, mean, you don't have an. Oh my God! Look let at me that. see. His I hands see. are completely wow. greased up. Well, I, yeah, I just put it, I just put it on. <laughs> <laughs> I smell the A and D ointment because my mom used to use it. You know what? This is uh, it is strong. Holy, yeah. I never used this before in my life. I went to the drugstore and I showed the woman my hands. She said. Well, that's because of the weather. Maybe put this on. <laughs> you should go to like a skin doctor. They have cool, all kinds of cool creams you can put on there. Yeah, but yeah. I got this very, Better very. I got a, a cream that a doctor created for you know that kind of thing. I'll really? bring you some. Yeah. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah, I got some of that too. I went to this dermatologist. He had his own special cream. Yeah. yeah? This, this is. Yeah. My my skin is baby soft. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it is, Rob. <laughs> so. But anyway, you here's the close of the show. So I'd like to uh, thank all of you for uh, uh, tuning in. I hope you have, uh, I hope you have a nice Easter and uh, think carefully, especially uh, um, those bad people. Really have some serious reconsidering to do, or else uh, uh, it bodes no good for them in the future. Um, now I, I, I have. Uh, I have a lot of church services since it is Holy Week. My church choir has to sing. Good night. Have, have, happy evening to all of you and have a happy Easter. What was that? She, the closing theme. Um, what? Oh. One suggestion. Um, oh, there she is. If you know anything about stained glass windows, uh, especially from the medieval cathedrals, the Gothic cathedrals, some of you kids at home this Saturday might dry drawing a stained glass window if you draw a circle and in the middle of that circle you draw an easter lily and then in the space unoccupied by the lily as though you're looking straight into it you can fill in the spaces with stained glass like uh colors and uh, and artwork um probably your parents can help you so that that should give you something to keep you occupied she thinks on the day before thing. Easter. Right. This, this is, is George. Suzanne McDowney from uh, uh, Storm 100 signing off. Happy Stern Easter right. and good evening. They did insist that she give out the Howard, the Howard she 100. She had to say Stern once at least. No, she was, it's, it's Howard 100, but she said Stern. You see George in California. Y'all, I'm working on my water lily before I uh, steal some more movies. Yeah, ask Napkin Ed made a water lily. He sent it to me this yeah, morning. I got a water Everybody's lily. doing their project. Hey, Howard. I made an uh, ass napkin head. I made a uh, water lily. <laughs> I made water napkin. lilies now. Mm. Hey, do you know, uh, so she went right to her p choir practice. When does she shit? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if your kids want to at home want to have some fun, take your uh, Ken doll, dress him like Jesus, and nail him to a popsicle stick. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see his suffering. And then shove him in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> That'll really make him... Suffer. I and didn't play. Pretend that your ass is the tomb and yeah. shove him in. Right, and then let him out after three days. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I didn't uh, play you this clip. Underdog lady. Caller brings up Howard. The second caller brings up Howard. All right. All right. I hope this was good. I don't know. Another question. Do you do you believe that Howard is going to face the wrath for the way he treats you? Oh, that's the one. Yeah. The same kid. Though. All right. Caller brings up Howard. This is a different one. I wanted to ask you a question because I know you have had some uh, of your own bad experiences with maltreaters and um, some of the atrocities that they've committed towards you. 
um, at, the, at your appearances and things like that. Do you think that those people are somehow threatened by your underdog message? Or do you think that maybe perhaps like Jesus, you're being persecuted by the followers of a rich, powerful Jew who has oh. encouraged someone to harass you and silence your message? I, I feel kind of the latter because uh, uh -oh. yeah. um, it says uh. on the monitor, why do people yell at you at parades? Well, see, sometimes um, depending on the occasion for which the parade is held and how I'm dressed for it, people call out to me. But, but they don't say anything disrespectful. Now, now, many times people yell just underdog. I don't mind that, although sometimes I'm not dressed as underdog. I'm wearing a different costume. It's when people specifically bring up the mention uh, of Howard Stern that, that, that they make me angry. Because these are the people who mention his name for the express purpose of aggravating me. And, uh, <laughs> and, and they don't realize that they can cause me to lose face with the people in charge of the parade or whatever, whatever other event it is, because, <laughs> I've been, uh, because I have been reprimanded by the people in charge of the events when, when, I, uh, when I issue a warning uh, to harassers. And those, those people in charge reprimand me. They do not reprimand the provocateurs. <laughs> so if, if I end up being um, disqualified from future participation in that event, well, then that's that's kind of uh, the uh, kind of the situation uh, Jesus was in. He he hadn't done anything wrong, but uh, but people maltreated him and were responsible for his death, and those people didn't care. They right. got away unpunished. Well, that's not quite the same. Right. Because she gets into it with the people who are yelling. That's exactly what she's saying. And then she gets reprimanded. Right. Not because they're yelling at her, because she yells back at them. You want one last clip? I didn't hear this, but it says uh, Pedro calls him with a prayer for her. Ah. I think in Spanish. <laughs> wow. I'm not sure. Of course. I, I want to say a prayer. Huh? I'm not Christian. I'm Catholic, but um, I, I'm just going to give the prayer to the to the to the Holy Mary for you, so people can stop mistreating you because you don't deserve that. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús, Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores. Ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte, amén. Thank you, Susana. Thank you. Muchas gracias. She's all tingled. She was saying the Hail Mary in Spanish. Now, when when I went to college, it was a Catholic college, and we had to start all our classes by saying some. Catholic prayer, and especially in my Spanish classes, we said the Hail Mary in Spanish to start our classes, so that, that really brought back a memory. Um, <laughs> usually when, uh, when I say yes. the Hail Mary to myself, I say it in Latin. Oh. 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 But she knew. I'd she's, love, she's no dummy. I'd love to hear her say it in Latin. Maybe next time you can call in. Right. I want to ask that. That's my, that's my request. you got to call in. I want to hear the Hail Mary in Latin. <laughs> well... There it is. Uh, that's a little bit of the highlights. Uh, you know, I have more, but, you know, you have to tune in. I can't replay the whole show. You know, I think we got quite a one-two yeah. punch going with her and Riley. Obviously, that was a home run. You know, the, a lot of email came in, and I, I happen to be one of those people that enjoys Suzanne's show. Oh, yeah. Uh, this uh, Let's uh, read you a couple of these. This is... I'll just read you three. Uh, nothing since Ham Hands Bill making fun of the uh, that other crazy bitch has made me laugh harder than the craziest bitch ever, underdog lady. Oh, wow. Was that a great surreal special? Give her another special before they take her away in a straitjacket. <laughs> and here's a negative. What the hell, Howard? I would rather l listen to Riley at 7 for a week and th at this than this mess. What a train wreck of a show. Tim, eat meat and never have her do a show again. <laughs> Thanks for making me lose an hour of my life. Here's someone who says, please play a clip of Underdog Lady singing at the end of her show. She is out of her mind. Wow. I had my speakers up so loud she broke every mirror in the house. <laughs> uh, Howard, I tried desperately to get through to speak to Underdog Lady, but to no avail. She needs two hours. I'm a 23-year listener, and I rarely listen to anything else but Howard. But this chick is fucking gold. 
Thanks. So a more lot of positives than negatives. More positives than negatives.